Here's a look at the tail of the tape. And the 223 of Larry Holmes could be just a little bit deceiving. He was wearing sweatpants and shoes. So you might have to allow for about four points there. And Larry is a seven or eight to five favorite. Perhaps people remember the fact that Leon Spinks okay. beat Muhammad Ali and then, then lost in the rematch. Before. Any questions from the challenger to Chief Second? Right. Yeah. Any question here? No question. Any question from the champion or Chief Second? No question. All right, let's get it on. Come on. Right. Right. So we will watch the right hand of Larry Holmes. He did not throw it in the first round of the last fight. This what crowd we, is really alive. What we have to see here is if Larry Holmes can be the aggressive fighter he says he's going to be and sustain the pace that that requires. I'll be surprised if Larry doesn't jump right on Michael the first round. And he's out of the corner very quickly. Well, he's doing just that now, Barry. He's going right at Michael. Threw him down. No knockdown, of course. is very tight here. You know, it's now he's starting to miss with his right hand already. But the point to bring out, he is throwing it. I wait for Michael Spinks to counter. Now he's working the body and actually manhandling Michael. Michael there tried to tie up Larry Holmes. Michael Spinks said that he wants Larry Holmes to fight more, that he didn't fight him enough in the first fight. You see, Larry's missing because he's trying to load up, and he's not loose yet. He has to keep that jab working until he's able to naturally throw his right hand. I'm actually waiting for Michael Spinks to retaliate to at least get some, get some respect from uh, Larry Holmes. Holmes trying to work the jab, moderate success. That was a good right hand that time, and it did wobble Michael Spinks a little bit. It caught Michael in the chest, it appeared, uh, Barry. Michael's given uh, Larry a lot of head movement, a lot of body movement. Larry now working on the midsection, trying to slow the mobility of Michael Spinks down. We call the first fight, Michael was able to stay loose by constantly giving lateral position, lateral movement. Jab being effective right at the moment. That was a left hand in close by Holmes. Larry Holmes. The first round jumped right on Michael, and he's standing there aggressive. Watch it goes to the body. Spinks first combination of the fight. Larry right hand is down, down by his side. much ado about very little, but Larry Holmes did try to change the pattern of his entire career. 18 years as a boxer, he's trying to come out now and be Joe Frazier. Can he do it? Kick your left hand up. Break, break all that up you're doing with your left hand. He's having fought it left hand, you gotta break it up. Stay off the rope! Okay, Larry, you gotta step in a little more. Step in with the jab. When you get it off, when you go dig in, you gotta come back with the left hook on him. He's looking, uh, he's anticipating, he's trying to block, you think he's gonna try to tear you down, but it ain't nothing, baby. Just keep stepping in there. Just keep your pace. Just keep it going. Nice, steady pace. Not too fast, not too slow. Steady. You know what I mean? 40 punch punches in an right average here. round in the first fight. Larry the Holmes threw 72 punches in that round. And Michael Spinks, obviously, just very coolly observing his opponent deciding what to do next.
Chiquetta was quite uh, pleased with the way that Larry uh, approached the first round, yet he wants Larry to use his jab more to get closer when he attempts to throw his right hand. Both fighters now appear to be quite relaxed now. Uh, first round, not really feeling our process. It's just a matter of who's trying to establish the ground. And Larry Holmes was able to pretty much establish ground in the first round. Pretty good right hand by Holmes, although it did get Spinks moving backward. It's always hard to tell with Michael Spinks if he's really hurt by a punch because he's awkward at all times. Well, Spinks has that type of movement that is quite difficult to penetrate his defense. The best bet for Larry is to work that body. And again, slow the movement down. Michael Spinks' hands very high and standing exactly in front of Larry. Larry with his hands down on his side. Yeah, his right hand down around his waist. And of course, you can't help but wonder if perhaps Michael Spinks is not just trying to play a little bit of a waiting game and see what Larry Holmes has in the tank. Well, Michael Spinks has a very good overhand right. And the way Larry's keeping the hand down, he has to be, uh, he has to look out for that right hand. And again, Holmes scores with the right hand, but he always gets Spinks moving backwards. So the full impact of the punch is not felt. on his bicycle. Try to keep Larry Holmes in the center of the ring if he can. Well, this is actually a replay of the first fight, Barry, except that Larry Holmes is throwing his right hand. And staying a little bit more on top of Michael Spinks. Good left-hand combination. He doubled up with the left hand. I think the crowd is really waiting for Michael to turn it off. How on? That was a good combination again by Holmes, like and hurt. Spinks is hurt. The right hand did hurt. Put him on the, on the forehead, as a matter of fact. And Spinks trying to stay out of harm's way. No question he was hurt. And Holmes not, digs downstairs. Holmes is a very good finisher. He gets his man hurt. That's when he works his right hand a great deal. He measures with the left jab. Another good right hand behind the left jab by Larry Holmes. Big round for Holmes. Michael Spinks, who usually operates from a stance of self-preservation, and then just improvises, has been unable to improvise anything effective, effectively so far. He popping that jab, he'll break his, all his rhythm up. Stick him and move, stick him and move until you're ready to go. Keep popping that jab, break his rhythm. Pull to the left, pull to the right. I see that right hand that seemed to wobble Spinks a little bit. I don't know if that just got him off balance because his legs were together or if he was hurt. Michael Spinks staggers around the ring sometimes at such hard rhythms, you don't know if he's hurt or not. He appeared to be hurt for a second or two. It was a good, it was a loop in my hand. Straight, put them right together, right far as do with it. You're doing good. All day. All day, all day, charge. Once again, can Larry Holmes persist with this really new style for him? I suppose he can, unless Spinks hits him back. Spinks must discourage him with some punches, Ray. Well, the right hand that uh, Holmes was able to land on the forehead of Michael, which appeared to have wobbled Michael Spinks a little bit, was just a, uh, some reassurance for Larry that he still has the power to hurt a light heavyweight. But now Spinks is a, a pretty good-sized heavyweight. In, in, own right. in Michael Spinks' corner, they were saying, just break up his rhythm, throw the left hand occasionally. And the voice, of course, that you hear in Larry Holmes' corner, longtime friend, and a man who's been with him for the better part of his career, Richie Giacchetti. Another good right hand. Holmes getting off quickly. And the jab is much more effective than it was in the last fight. Well, Holmes, his jab, his punches are far accurate now in the second fight than they were in the first fight. 
He's a lot more aggressive than he was. And um, the way he punches to the body now, with more conviction now. And Spinks, a little bit of peekaboo here. Trying to go side to side. That's what Nelson Bryson in his corner said to do. But Holmes is catching up. And the jab is the, is the punch that's actually setting uh, Holmes up so he can connect with his right hand. In fact, the jab has been better as this fight has gone along. The way it looks to me and the way this fight is progressing, Larry Holmes have, must have reviewed the first fight a number of times because it seems to me he knows exactly what to expect from Michael. And uh, he knows fully well that his jab will offset Spinks' movement. Well, in fact, when a lot of us watched a replay of the first fight and did so in a lot of slow motion, we saw that both men missed a great deal. There was really very little punching power in the first fight on either part. I don't think this one right hand is going to uh, catch, catch up with Michael Spinks. He's going to have to take a series of punches because Mike is moving his head very well. I think those jabs have been consistent, and they're very good, hard, good stiff jabs. Very effective jabs. As good as I've seen Larry Holmes jab in the last half dozen fights at least. I like to see Larry throw some jabs to the body. Good right hand. It was a counter-punching right hand by Holmes. Larry has been actually trying to walk Spinks down, trying to cut the ring off. Michael's been very content with just moving around the ring. Now Michael's starting to throw some jabs of his own. The pace of the fight is slowed down. When you have two fighters who are basically counter punches, you've got a formula for a lot of inaction. But Larry Holmes is dominating what's going on in there. <clears throat> All right, Larry. When he goes down, you'll throw the right uppercut. But you gotta go left hook, right hand, and come back with it. You gotta throw two punches together, or put three and four punches together. It's not gonna do it one or two with this guy, because he's rocking. When he bends down, throw the left hook and come back with the right hand. Because the left hook is gonna bring him up. Okay, baby, it's your turn now, Slim. You gotta work now. Everything behind his hand. You can do it. Let's get him, Slim. go get it. Work the jab. Do it behind the jab. Reach mm -hmm. down, down and go get it. Stick it. Reach down and go get it. One or two punches are not going to do it. Put them together, okay? Frankly, I'd like to see somebody put it together. <laughs> well, you got the story of the fight for the two men in the corner, Richard Giacchetti and Nelson Bryce. And Holmes out quickly. section of uh, Larry Holmes. Spinks is able to land his punches. Right at the moment, neither man really able to double up. Holmes' jab has been effective. And again, with Spinks' style, it's very hard to tell just how effective he's being. That's why oftentimes there's such disparagement in the judging. Well, Mills Lane just warned Larry about uh, using his elbow, using his arm to rest on this, uh, the neck of Michael Spinks. Chiquetti and uh, Holmes Corner is yelling for Holmes to throw an uppercut. Good body shot by Larry Holmes. Very good shot. So that's the uppercut. Both hands now. Holmes is very sharp with his punches. Not wasting a lot of punches. Holmes trying to 
pressure Spinks, and Spinks just got out of there. Oh, we we'll step back. Oh, back to that. I'm step back clean. Both, both clean. Now we'll have it going. Larry there is doing the right thing. He's tying up Spinks' arms so he's not able to punch inside. Spinks' hands fuck quicker than Larry's. Good right hand again up the top of the head of Michael Spinks. Spinks still looking for an opening, but he's yet to find it. Larry's been keeping that left jab in his face. I don't know why Larry don't continue to go after him when Spinks turns his back. Combination by Spinks, but Holmes is right there. And that's the end of the fourth round. We mentioned that Harold Letterman, who is an official here in the state of Nevada, is unofficially scoring this fight for us. And Harold, after four rounds, how do you see this one? Barry, I've got Larry Holmes winning four rounds pretty decisively. It's the clean punching, uh, he's the aggressive, he's getting off first, he's backing up Michael, and he's having no problem. That's your sober judgment, <laughs> I know, <laughs> after Larry Holmes accused some officials of being giving drunken judgments, and I agree with it, Harold. There's no problem. Everything's fine. Just watch your hand. That's all right. Okay, all right, Larry. Okay, you see, you started with the jab and you finished it. You see, when you finished it back the jab, he couldn't run in. So keep the same thing going. But when he bends over, you got to throw the left hook, baby. Let's go now. You got you got to move. You got to move both ways. Come on, let's go in this Spinks' corner. At the end of that last round, Michael Spink started to show some aggression. He's going to have to show a lot more to get back into this fight. A tactical fight so far, a fight that could be won or lost in the corners. Michael is, is quite content with the way he's moving. Uh, not even exerting any unnecessary energy. He's been using the whole entire ring, as a matter of fact. Now he's playing with, uh, playing with Larry. I'm waiting for him to explore right, right, with some of his combinations. It seems on, to me, Bert, that he's waiting for Larry to pretty much try to punch himself out because I, I'm sure he expected Larry to go right at him for the first couple rounds, which has been true. And Larry has, and Larry's won, at least in the judgment of those at this table. Right hand of Larry Holmes still falling short. Mainly due because of the way Spinks is moving. Get off that neck, out of come, come on, step back, please. Right here, like who's gonna hit who first? Michael Spinks complained loudly about that in the last fight, and in fact, when we talked to him, he said, "I'm really concerned about that. I really don't want that that, that to happen." And it just did. Holmes respond, rather, Spinks responds well. You know, at times when uh, Spinks comes inside, the way he comes inside, he's going down, that's when the uppercut for Holmes would be pretty effective. That was a good left hand by Spinks, but Holmes did not take a backward step. Best punch of the fight for Michael Spinks. That's the left hook that Kelly wanted Holmes to throw come back with. Three jabs by Spinks and a right hand by Holmes. And now, Spinks is holding on a little bit here. This is the type of fight that I normally see Larry Holmes in. He gets his man hurt, he measures him with his left hand, and he just pummels him with his right. Left hand by Spinks and another. Larry exactly just walking towards Michael, not showing any respect. I'll tell you, it's just very hard to tell when Michael Spinks is hurt. Now the crowd is yelling for, for Larry Holmes. Spinks there keeping that head moving. Not allowing Larry Holmes to get set. Right hand by Spinks, right on the nose of Larry Holmes. Very up-tempo round here. It's been a very fast-paced round for Larry Holmes. We have to see how long he can keep this up. One thing about it, he's in a fantastic shape. I gave that round narrowly to Spinks. We're one-third through the fight. 
Larry Holmes looks like he's expending a tremendous amount of energy, more than he's used to early in a fight. You wonder if he's a little tired. There's the right hand that landed near the ear of Spinks, and here you'll get a look at the same punch. But Spinks did land a couple of clean hooks in that round. Come on, baby, that's it. Work for it. It's all yours. It's yours. Just... It's all yours. Larry, it's it's yours. keep off the jab. Don't stop using the jab. That's what's setting up. Your Change up. Go around and straight right hand. Change up. Good. This is my strategy, baby. All right. Okay. Get away. All right. What those numbers say is that by being active, Larry Holmes is making Michael Spinks more inactive. This is round number six. Wild right hand by Hunt. Good right hand by Spinks. I love the way that Spinks ride with that right hand. Ride, a, ride with the right hand of Larry Holmes. Very, very slowly, you have the feeling that the momentum of this fight is switching to the champion. Very, almost imperceptibly. Well, Larry just now did a, a rain, or Indian dance, rain dance, whatever you call it, and uh, I guess he's starting to feel good. But now Spinks has started to try to take control. If it rains in here, he's got more talent than I thought. <laughs> I think what makes this fight such an interesting fight, because the first time around, everyone expected Larry Holmes to win. And now, they just don't know. Strong left hand inside that time by Holmes, incidentally. I'm really waiting for Michael Spinks to come with the overhand right. The jab of Larry Holmes down by his side. And basically, when you fight a guy with a, such an unorthodox an style as Michael Spinks, you got to work the body. In the first fight, very seldom did Larry Holmes go to the body. You got to sit down on that movement. And for Spinks, Spinks is doing what he does best. Put it up to him. Right inside, a punch that traveled about six inches. He's, Spinks is not staying uh, stationary target. He's getting a lot of feints, a lot of head movement. I got to think, Ray, that fighting an awkward fighter like Michael Spinks, or one with an awkward style, could be very confusing, and maybe even more than confusing, very frustrating. Good left hand by Holmes. Well, the fact is, because you don't know what, the, what direction the punches are coming from Michael. That's what makes, makes Michael such an exceptional fighter. Get off the neck, get off the neck. Here, 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 punch combination by Spinks. Good jab by Michael. Good darting jab. Mike has a very stinging left jab. Left hook by Spinks and another. What Spinks is actually doing, he's moving, he'll stop, throw a couple punches, and get back on his bicycle. this fight, very similar to that of the first fight, except that both men are much more effective in this fight. That was the uh, lead off right hand of Michael Spinks out waiting for. It didn't land. I gave that round again to Spinks because Holmes is a more aggressive. He's now starting to become a little vulnerable to that left hook. Guy. That's when he comes in with the left hook. You see, when you just put your hand out there straight, that's when he comes in with the left hook and throws it right in. That's what he's waiting for. Keep in motion. Keep the jab working. There's no problem, baby. Get your hands out. All right, Big Dad. You want it? Do it, Slim. Let it rest. Come on, baby. Let's see that hook to the body. Hook to the head, hook to the body. Hook okay. to the head, hook to the body. The left hook on top will beautiful. Go with that hook to the body now, right? Let's go. Round number seven, and in the corners, the strategy continues.
Michaels presenting a different picture for Larry Holmes. Keep, when he goes, he comes in, he keeps his head down, tuck, moving. Good lunging left-hand lead. And then he fries the left hook. Thomas does not seem at this juncture to have slowed down all that much, I don't think. And as we mentioned, conditioning, of course, very much a factor, and Holmes' bones are 36 years old. Well, condition is a major factor, all along with the age. But I'm sure Larry has conditioned himself. In fact, I know he's conditioned himself to deal with Mike. He, he knew through the first fight, his mistakes that he made, and now he's trying to capitalize, capitalize on them. You know what's showing? Michael Spence is showing me he can take a punch because a couple of those right hands have landed cleanly on the chin of Michael. Right no. hand. Another good right hand. But you got to come back with something. You got to come back with the left hook. Again, one punch is not going to just do it for Larry Holmes. Spinks in this round, Ray, doesn't seem to be going side to side quite as much as he has in the first six rounds. Well, he feels that he's able to uh, remain evasive by just moving from side to side without, ex you know, expending any, any uh, energy. He's really right in front of Larry, but he's, you know, he constantly moves his head. He has very good upper body movement. He's keep popping the jab to the body. But as he runs away, I'll get it. I don't know why Larry's not continuing to follow him. That right hand caught mostly on the gloves. This is when Larry normally throws that looping right hand. But now the jab of Michael is starting to get through. Three in a row. Right hand, a good shot. Stop Michael Spinks in his tracks. Michael wants to go to work here. I don't think there's any question, though, that Michael has let the side-to-side -side motion go, and he's straight at Larry Holmes in this round. Too much. You got to go to work, baby. Right. Take charge. Take charge. <laughs> <laughs> they really told him something he doesn't know there yeah. that he has to work. All right, you got to keep the jab going. You're going to keep the punches going. You got it, baby. Don't get a tip. You just got to keep them jabs. Don't wait. Always punch. That's right. Don't wait. Always punch. You got to keep like your rhythm going. Just like a machine. Always punch. You do it this way, fix it. That speed that just got. Okay. The first fight was dramatic because a light heavyweight champion was trying to beat a heavyweight champion. This fight is dramatic because an old, great heavyweight champion is trying to recapture his title. But technically, as pure fights, neither of them goes into a time capsule so far. <laughs> Michaels now is a little busier than he was in the earlier rounds. He's starting to get a little more shots. Good body shot by Michael Spinks. Well, you heard Michael Spinks right at the end of that round when he went and sat down in his corner say, I got to wear him down some more. Well, what happens with corner, with corner, I mean, they always tell you, you got to throw more punches. You got to throw more punches. I mean, Michael's doing, like he said, he's doing the best he can. Those are some solid body shots from Spinks on home. A little swelling over the uh, right, under the right eye of Larry Holmes due to some of those sharp left hooks thrown by Michael Spinks. Larry has not backed up at all. He's been going straight ahead from the first round. Just a little short with that right hand that time.
in the corner, Barry Mike stated that uh, he's trying to make Larry work. Trying to make him use a lot of energy. And I guess that's when he's going to try to pour it on. But I think from about the fifth round on, six, seven, and here in eight, Michael Spinks has picked the pace up quite a lot, actually. Good jab, good stiff jab. Good left hook by Michael Spinks. One thing about it, both fighters is just, you know, really actually trying to throw one punch. It's not going to happen that way. You got to put your punches together. You got to start following up with more shots. I think you see a different Larry Holmes quite naturally. A more aggressive Larry Holmes. What you saw there was a three-punch combination from Spinks. Two lefts and a right. In the first fight, uh, Michael was able to, to get away with a lot of punches inside. Here he's not as, as successful. Relying more so on just uh, throwing one shot, which has been the left hook. good one. Now the right, and a combination of punches by Spinks. You see now what the, first, the first punch was caught on the gloves for large part. But you see what happens when you throw a series of punches, Barrett? Some of those punches will land. But in just, just trying to land one big shot, nine times out of ten, it won't happen. Now we have a jabbing contest, and Michael's coming out on top. I counted Spinks landing eight jabs in the last 20 seconds. We're through eight rounds. Harold Letterman, once again, give us your sober judgment about what's going on here. Well, thank you, Larry. I, as I saw it, Michael Spinks only won the sixth round up until that eighth, and he won the eighth round rather big. Uh, Michael uh, has only been going in one direction, and that's to his left, but in the eighth round, he came right to Larry, and he took the fight right to Larry and won the eighth round. Just keep the same thing. Don't stop jabbing. You gotta throw the combinations. Left hook right in. That's it. Catch him a good shot on that chest. <laughs> Deep breath. <laughs> Go and get him. You're doing you're fighting. Come on, come on, give me a composure, hey, baby. You're fighting. You stay cool. Me up. Let me relax. Okay. Stay cool. Okay. Stay right. calm. Right now, the question for Larry Holmes is whether he can sustain the pace because he's found a formula that seems to be a winning one. Michael Spinks in his corner essentially saying, just leave me alone and let me get myself together here. I think for Michael's corner now, they should realize that Michael knows exactly what he has to do in order to beat Larry. I mean, he has to stay aggressive, has to throw more punches. And uh, it appears to me that now he's... Uh, when Michael goes to his corner, he gets a little angry, a little frustrated. The jab continuing to be a very effective weapon for Michael Spinks. Good, Good right, right hand. hand. That hurt Michael. And another one, and Spinks backs up, and Holmes on the attack. Good right Good to the bo body. That body shot kind of fold Michael over. Michael looking for a place to get a breath here. Short with the right hand. The left jab with the home starting to work again. Good left hook. Behind a right hand that missed. And that's what both fighters has to start doing, Barry. Come back with something. Come back with the left hook. Come back with the right hand. Stop throwing one, two punches, throw three, four, five. It appeared that Michael was in trouble. I thought he was in trouble, but he's a very poor fighter. And Michael again, the chant, Larry, Larry, the crowd very much in support of the challenger. I don't think there's a lot of people along press row here that would have thought that the crowd would be largely in support of Larry Holmes, the challenger, in view of the goings on at the press conference after the last fight.
Kai is still walking Michael down. He's been drawing a lot of uh, body shots. Trying to get that uppercut in. And the only time it's really working was when he throws it to the body. Spence keeping those hands very high. Trying to see an opportunity where he can get inside and throw some punches. Michael Spinks. That right hand on the back of Larry Holmes. Good right hand by Spinks. After Jack Nicholas, April may be becoming a very good round month for old masters. You know the one about the rabbit? The other one about the other one about it. Hurry up. You can't wait with this guy. You can't wait. You gotta keep to the game plan. You gotta change up in the combinations. You let the guy off the hook. Quit trying to load up. Just keep to the game plan. Quit trying to knock the goddamn guy out. Throw the punches. One, two, three, four, and just keep working it. And it'll come. Well, you keep the jab. You don't have to try to knock him out with one punch. Well, just listen to it. Come on, baby. All right. Let's go. Let's go. So we cover the tenth round. Richard Giacchetti telling his men, you don't have to knock him out. Stick to the game plan. Throw your four punch combinations. Because it won't happen, bro. You can't try. When you try too hard, you have a tendency to telegraph your punches. What you need to do, stick to the basics with the jab and everything. This is a big change in the fight. You notice that Larry Holmes is starting to move back now. Michael Spence has become the aggressor. Either sign of, that means either Larry is tired or he's changed his strategy. And Spence comes right after him with a right hand lead and the left behind that. Holmes corner yelling for him to get off and not uh, stand there and take those shots. All right, we'll sit back closer. Come on, one step back, Michael. We'll sit back, Larry. We'll sit back, clean. Here we go. And again, a combination by Spinks. And another left hand, an uppercut, and Holmes counters with a right hand. Is yelling from uh, his uh, home's corner for him not to wait. And the reason being because he knows when Michael gets inside, Michael throws a lot of punches. All directions. Good right hand and a combination. An uppercut behind the overhand right. Larry hands is slow, but should be dropping to his side. And I think this is what Michael Spence is waiting for, for Larry to try to at least punch himself out. First fight, Michael was able to dart in and dart out without really getting hit by Larry. Now he's more content to come inside and stay in for a while and take a couple of shots. A very aggressive Michael Spence this round. Firstly, it's a flat-footed Larry Holmes in this round. Now it's possible he's just trying to take a blow and three-punch combination by Spinks again. Holmes back with the right hand. A lot of punches being thrown and a lot of punches connecting by both men. Uppercut by Spinks, right hand behind that. Spinks getting the better of it. Michael Speaks seems to sense that Larry Holmes is tiring and he is becoming the aggressor. Now it's all hard. Now it's all you now. It's all oh, now you gotta go. What you gonna do out here? Water, water. Deep breath. Deep breath. Now 
going hard. All right? All hard. You go out there now, right? There's a left that got through, a right that grazed, but another right that did get Holmes to the point of the jaw. But that was a dominant round by Spinks. His speed was more effective than Holmes' size. There's a punch by Holmes later in the round. You gotta keep it going, you gotta keep it going. Don't back it, you gotta keep it going. Keep, 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 keep it going. Keep it going. We're going into the last third of the fight. There seemed to be a little bit of concern in the corner of Larry Holmes, mainly from his brother Jake, who was saying, come on, it's all heart now, and Spinks picks up where he left off. This fight has taken a total different uh, uh, scene here, mainly because Michael Spinks now is doing what he did the last time, the first time, I'm sorry, and uh, he started to throw more punches. Starting to throw his, his combinations, show the speed of his punches, the accuracy of his punches. First one missed, but the second one got there. Spence is doing what Holmes going to want one of him to do, is to put punches together, not look forward to just one or two punches. Throw us a combination of shots. That took right hand uppercut. The uppercut has been effective for Spinks in the last couple of rounds. What Larry doing now is just basically resting, just using his jab. And he can continue to do this as long as Michael's not coming in. You know the space is able to move and then stop all of a sudden and throw a punch. Good right hand by Holmes. Three jabs by Spinks. Spinks jab better than I've ever seen it. You know, I, I, I also credit this probably to that medicine ball technique that Shield Stone had introduced to Michael. Still a Michael swelling. hands is still up. Swelling under both eyes of Larry Holmes, really up on the cheekbone. Doesn't appear to be anything very serious. Good shot there. Michael now moving away. The city is dead. Come on. In Spinks corner, they are saying, get after him, get after him. Don't wait. Now it's Spinks who seems to be taking a bit of a blow here. Plenty more boxing coming your way here on HBO on Tuesday, May the 20th, live. It'll be Mike Tyson against Mitch Blood Green. And, of course, everybody talking about Mike Tyson, you'll have a chance to see him on HBO on May 20th. Come on, give me. Give it to me. Thank you. Let's take a rinse, Tim. Wow. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. To the head. What round is this? Well, what do we got? Well, I got Larry ahead by you. Get caught when you make the turn. Oh, that's exactly right. Larry Holmes has the lead in this fight. Can he keep it? They come to the center of the ring, 12th round. I think Michael has to come to life now. I think that uh, 
due to those earlier rounds was that he was content to lay back and let Larry Holmes be the aggressor. Cost him some very uh, important rounds. This one looking more and more like it will go back into the hands of the judges here in Las Vegas. And I would have to think that it's one of those fights that could be seen from numerous angles. Well, you know, again, the judges' criteria is who throws the cleaner punches, throws the most punches. Uh, Larry's been very aggressive. His punches have landed to the body and to the head of Michael Spinks. And Spinks has had some of some very good rounds uh, around third, fourth, and sixth. There's Holmes holding that arm off, fending himself against Michael Spinks. That right hand on the side of the head by Holmes, not a huge punch. You see what happens, Larry, when he uses his left jab or uses his left hand, period, he's able to haul off Mike for a while. Not let Mike run in as much. more active the first fight than he is this time. He's not throwing as many punches as he did the first fight. And he's not as, ag as aggressive. Holmes going downstairs with some success. Again, Michael uh, is relying upon one punch. It's not, it's not going to do it, especially scoring points. Right hand by Spinks, good shot, but again, one punch. And another right hand and a left behind it, and now Spinks opens up. He looks away. I don't know why Larry's not jumping on top of him. Now, this is when Larry should go to work. This is when you reach down, Barry. At this point now, both fighters are tired, and it's all a matter of hard determination at this point. How do you see it now? Right now, I still see Larry Holmes in the lead. Uh, Michael Spinks is fighting a surprising fight. He's taking it right to Holmes, but the big man is out punching him. Come on, you're working well, well, Hold out. Larry, I think that uh, if Michael uh, keeps on coming right to Larry, he's going to have to knock him out to win the fight. I think Larry's going to win the decision if it goes the distance. If you don't hear Richie Giacchetti, it's because after the last round, they threw our microphone out. I can't imagine what they have to say in there that we don't know already. We need these rounds. Let's go get this guy. Let's go get this guy. On my card, as well as Harold Letterman's, it would be a pretty good idea for Michael Spinks to win the last three rounds if he wants to win this fight. Nine minutes of boxing. Big right hand by Spinks, but he was just a little bit short with it. He was yelling at Spinks' corner that uh, they need these last few rounds here. Leaning on each other now, dancing. Now for Larry, all Larry has should do now is like inside, just lay on Michael and uh, try to weigh him down. And again, Holmes just holding off Michael Spinks I don't, with the forearm. I don't believe that. I don't know why neither guy is really actually punching after they have the Larry extends his, that uh, left hand. Just 
did not take a backward step. Good clean shot, and it obviously did not hurt home. Michael hands up, both of his hands are down at his side. I don't know whether that's from frustration or fatigue. Quite naturally, fatigue has to set in. The right hand caught um, Holmes on the side of his head. Again, you know, when Spinks misses a shot or turn his head, that's when Nair should be on him. Should take advantage of those opportunities. Spinks should be more active now, but I feel. Larry once again goes to the body. It's really starting to look, Ray, like Spinks cannot hurt Larry Holmes. He's well, hit him a couple of good shots. He's landed some good shots, and Larry still stands there. More life than Michael Spinks. Is there enough life left in Larry Holmes? Suck it in, baby. He's down and suck that air in. Suck that air in. You gotta keep throwing the punches. Look at him. Look at him over there. Look at the ice and everything on him. Let's go, damn it. How much do you want? Come on. That's all you gotta you want. want it. Hey, go get it. You gotta go get it, baby. Is in def definitely in some kind of distress. I don't know what it is. So the 14th round, and we'll see if Michael Spinks can shake off whatever the problem he had in the corner was. When he was coughing, it appeared that there was a lot of phlegm uh, in his throat, and uh, he must have gotten it out. At first, I thought he was actually choking. He seems to be okay now. We saw Richard Giacchetti just say to Larry Holmes, look at him. He's got an ice bag on and everything else. Of course, so did Larry Holmes. Uppercut by Spinks. Michael again walking away. These are two very important rounds for both fighters. This is when you have to reach down. Once again, Larry puts that hand on, on the forehead of uh, Michael, and no one dares throw a punch. And under the right eye of Larry Holmes now, what was just a swelling, has a little reddening to it now, but again, just about four and a half minutes left in this fight. Larry now is starting to put two punches together, but he can't just stand there. You see what's happening? It's like a right hand hurt. Good right hand right there by Spooks, but again, Larry Holmes just did not, was not phased by it. It's a good clean shot, Ray, and Holmes just literally didn't step back. Well, he nailed Larry with that right hand, and uh, Larry just stood there. You see, now this is when Larry should at least punch, or at least clinch, and not allow. And there was a right hand by Holmes, and Spinks is in a world of trouble right now. Good right hand. Now Great what? shot by Holmes. This is when Larry gets his man out of there. And Spinks is all but out. Looking for the one finisher. Spinks trying to fight off the ropes. Oh, I don't want to 
understand this. Why, why don't Lai go for him? Larry right, just has not gotten up on top of Michael this Sphinx. Is, it's a big opportunity here. Larry Holmes himself said, I don't want to leave this to the judges. And now he's got a chance, and he's not pouncing on Michael Spinks. I can't believe this. Another right hand by Larry Holmes. Now he's on that. Spinks just trying to brawl Holmes and keep him off of him. He had him out on his feet. And now Spinks, all the, the heart that he has as a champion, is trying to, try to come back. What really Great surprises ground. me. Really surprised me. Larry Merchant, I always thought Larry Holmes was a great finisher. Well, he's very tired, but that was the best round of the 29 rounds they've met. The question is whether that one big right hand will offset all of the clean punches that Leon, that Michael Spinks landed in that round. Let's take a look and see if we catch that right hand. Caught him cleanly. Keep on going, keep on going, Big Jack, keep on going. Be the boss. Be the boss. Don't wait Come on. Come on, Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. 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 Come well, I've got Larry Holmes ahead by four points at this point, Larry. I think the Michael Spinks has to knock him out in the last round to win the fight. All right, we'll see. Remember, we've said it time and again, we've seen some very unusual decisions here in Nevada. And as we said earlier, there's a lot of ways that you can look at this fight. Both guys are standing there pairing at each other with the left jab. And they both want to throw the right hand. Fight again has taken a, a whole different uh, turnaround. Uh, both fighters now has become very aggressive. Inside, Michael Spence is able to get off his punches, those short punches. But Larry Holmes, by far, has had the most effective blows. Right hand by Holmes. This is history in the making for Larry Holmes to be able to regain his title. Trying to be the third man to do so. Muhammad Ali, of course. The most recent did it against Michael Spinks' brother, Leon. And see, that's what's going through Larry Holmes' mind right now. And Spinks just trying to do all he can. There are signs of desperation in Michael. Michael really uh, just going at, at uh, Larry Holmes, although he was knocked down in that 14th round. Look at the punches that he's throwing. Uppercut was a good shot by Spinks. Spinks just let it all go. Harold Letterman, of course, unofficially, our judge at ringside, feeling that Michael Spinks must knock Larry Holmes out. Spinks trying for all the world to do it. Holmes does not appear to have been hurt throughout the fight. Michael buckled again just now to about the right hand of Larry Holmes. He knows he's retreating. Larry, normally a good finisher, but I think he's so tired now that he's not able to um, adjust to Michael's movement. Trying to drop that right hand. Less than 40 seconds left. I see, I see Larry Holmes as the uh, new champion. Proud to a number on its feet here. They all chant Larry, Larry. And they all think their guy has won it. Well, Larry has fought like a champion. Michael Spinks has shown the determination by getting up off the campus in the 14th round. The heart of a champion. Ten seconds, there'll be no knockout in this fight. Just look at Larry go to work.
has come to an end, and it looks, of course, for all intent, you have to think Larry Holmes the winner of this fight. That's what Larry Merchant had on his card. That's what Howard Letterman had on his card. You and I saw the fight that way, but again, I hearken back to many fights that you and I have done here in Las Vegas, Ray, and I've seen some awfully strange decisions. That's true, Barry, but judging by the way Larry approached his fight, Larry was aggressive from round one. I think you have to look at that as your criteria, the fact that Larry was very effective, uh, some plain blows, he was able to land some sharp right hands that stunned Michael Spinks. Here's a look at Harold Letterman's unofficial card, Harold. Well, Barry, as I saw it, it, Michael Spinks fought a different fight from the way he fought the first time. This time he tried to stay in Larry Holmes' face and bang with the bigger man, and he couldn't do it. The bigger man outbanged the smaller man, and I think that was the secret. Michael never went to his right. He only went to his left, or he went straight forward right into Larry Holmes' power. And I think that Larry was just too strong for Michael Spinks. I think uh, Larry pulled it out by three points, even though Michael was more aggressive in the 15th round. So we'll see then if our unofficial tally here approaches the official tally. Chaos right now in the ring. Both men, of course, feel Who's the man? their man has done the job. Who's the man? That's Leon Sphinx, of course, there to congratulate his brother. That was a different fight from Larry Holmes because Larry was aggressive, but from Michael Spinks, it was like a replay of the first fight, but with less punches being thrown. So right now, let's get up to the ring announcer, Chuck Hall, and we will have the official decision. Here's Chuck. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the decision of the judges. Judge Frank Burnett scores 144 Spinks, 141 Holmes. Judge Joel Cortez scores 144 Holmes, 141 Spinks. Judge Jerry Ross scores 144, 142 for the winner by a split decision and still. going to be a lot of agreement, Ray, with that decision here at the Hilton Hotel. I, uh, I don't know what to say, really. I, I 